I live in Birkdale. Uh, I know you can't believe it, I'm 56. I know you all think I'm 21. But look, for the purists among you, they'll be saying, oh, there should be a question mark up there. Well, I've lost the question mark. But here we go. Now look, what is the difference, and I'll put you a picture up. Are you ready? Between that man there, ready? And this man here. So you're just looking for one word that tells you the difference between him and him. But in order to know the difference, you probably need to know what they did for a living. All right? So one word, we'll find it out. Okay. And here I'll put another couple of pictures up for you. All right? And if you want to chip in, you can. What's the difference between this? Maybe that's the best way. And this one. Ready? So you're looking for one word that will tell you the difference, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I know I've lost my question mark for all the English teachers out there, but don't panic, right? It's not Shakespeare, right? What is the difference between him and him? Him and him? Would you like to guess so you, one word it is? Him and him. Now, here's another picture, ready? The same difference in all of them. Ready? So, him and him, him and him, him and him. One word will get you the answer. I'm cleverer than you are. The dead beats. The dead beats. <laughs> I don't think he's a dead beat, sir. Do you know who he is? I don't care who he is. Do you know? No. Why not? Because I'm an unbeliever, sir. Well, that's okay. You can stay in your unbelief. You don't believe all this nonsense and all this. Religion is a personal thing. It makes a few, the person feel better. Well, I'm not mocking. It makes a people feel better. Wonderful. You should be touted. You have been to all these foreign countries and tried to talk to Christians. Look at your left for the morning. Well, all I'm asking, ladies and gentlemen, is what's the difference between these two men? Right? We've got this fella and this fella, this one and this one and this one. Now, I'll give you a very famous quote, are you ready? That man there said, in all my professional life, there's been nothing that has been very exciting. He's the captain of the Titanic. All right, now look, the difference is this, ready? What? He's the astronaut Neil Armstrong, and he went up. Do you do know that is? That's the famous Greek Ooh. diver. Jacques Cousteau, and he went down. So he went up, he went down, they went up and down, but what? He went down. My friend, he was going on a bit of a rant, I don't know why, but there we go. And ladies and gentlemen, look here. Just think about this for a minute. Ready? One man went up, one man went down. Now look at them two, think about that. Have you ever wondered one went up, one went down. Why did one go up and why did one go down? Because they're both for thieves. I mean, why did this guy make it to the kingdom of heaven? And why did this man not? Well, if you've got a minute, I'll tell you. Are you ready? That man understood that man. I'm going to say something now. There's nobody on earth can say it with accuracy about your life. Ready? I'm going to make a statement about your life and mine. Yeah, so we're all in this together. We're not all together. Well, everybody's different in life. Okay. Excuse me. How can you say everybody's different? What do I do? Come on with life. Go on. I, I don't go to the synagogue. I don't go to church with my wife. It's what you do in life is the most important thing. Not like going to the Cray brothers killed everybody. They went to church every bloody Sunday. What did they do? It's all the nonsense. It's what you do in life is the most important. Not where you go and what you go to church or what you feel. It's what you personally do in life makes you a good person. Sir, are you going to heaven? Are you going to heaven, sir? What are you doing? Are you going to heaven? Yes or no? <laughs> now, all I did ask him a question and he went on a wobbler. But here we go. Remember, one went up, one went down. This statement is true. They said of that man in the middle, this man has done nothing amiss, nothing wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, let me ask you a question. Is that said of you? Can you say in your life you have done, never done anything wrong? That's what they said of him. But then only one of them said, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. The reason that man is wrong, ladies and gentlemen, 
is because you've got a universe here that shouts it came from somewhere. Life cannot come from no life. And that man's saying it is. But ladies and gentlemen, when Jesus was on the cross, he was dying for you and me. His blood was shed for your sins. You see, when you go into eternity, there's an eternal judgment. And if you go in unforgiven, then you've got a major problem because there's no way you can be forgiven. And that's why Jesus said, I'm the son of God who can forgive sins on earth only. So if you go past earth unforgiven, then your sins, not him, will leave you outside the kingdom of God, which is an awful place to be. But Jesus loves you and me. He doesn't have to, but Jesus loves this world, everybody in it, thee and me, and he laid down his life, and that thief said to Jesus, this man has done nothing wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, do you know why he went to paradise, that man? Because he asked Christ to forgive him. I'm going to stop there, but I give away a little book. Now, I 